Hello guys and welcome back to Trade Coders. Today, first of all, let's get an idea about Angular folder structure and Angular modular architecture. Actually, in our last video, we have discussed this folder structure up to a level. Today, let's move into our source folder. So this is the folder that we use for our coding purpose. So in this source folder, we have come across with these files in our previous video. So in our app folder, we found several files. You can find app routing module.ts. Also, you can find app component.html, app component.css and app component.ts so you will find some folders with this name of component there are four files with name of component so those things are called in angular as component so the combination of this html this css spec.ts and .ts the combination of this four files will generate will build a component so this is app component the root component of the project also you can find there are two more files named as module root module app dot module is a combination of app routing dot module dot ts and the component and app module dot ts so this whole thing together is a module so angular is built with lot of modules it contains a modular architecture also what is a component means this window is a component this header line is also a component you can see this collapse and comes again this side view is another component this coding space is another component so almost all the things in angular are a combination of components a module is something in a higher level than component every component is a member of an module so now let's get an idea practical and we find a file called index.html okay first of all before going into deep let's take the terminal and let's run this project we can run the project using ng so and enter okay it will take some time to run the project at first instance so it's generating and it compiles successfully so now let's we can see the project is on http localhost 4200 so now let's follow this link okay you can find a beautiful ui a beautiful web page is generated automatically how it could happen so now let's move into google form right so we can see a beautiful ui is here how could this happen we actually we haven't coded at least a single word but we found a beautiful ui first app app is running resources and these things are working right there are some buttons and there are some navigations there are a lot of things how this could happen okay now let's move into our code base in this src folder in app folder we found 
a component which we have called as the root component in this root component it consists with a component of html a component of css and a component of ts so in this html there's a code so this was the code the structure of the web page which we have found here let's enjoy it let's select all of these things and accept we need the route outlet i'll explain it later i, I have now copied that one and let's select all and delete all things and put the router outlet now let's save the project by control s okay it is compiling and it says that compile successfully so in this first app localhost 4200 we can't find anything so that's why i said this html app component.html was responsible for the things that we have seen in this beautiful web page now all those things are disappeared okay now let's get those things once again and save okay now you can see the web page is back okay now you are sure that app component html is responsible for the html structure of this web page this scss file is for the stylings css stylings of the component and what is this app component.ts so this is the typescript file which is responsible for this component that means all the logics and all the controls of this component is done using this app component okay now let's move into index.html in this have you find something like this app root in the body it renders app root so what is this app root app root is nothing else it is the selector of this app component which is known as the root component so this is the selector of the component so it has been used in this index.html now let's comment this one before commenting i will prove that this works properly Yes, let's pop on here and I'll save this one also. Yeah, it works properly here. And I'm moving to the index.html and I'll comment this app root and save. I'll refresh, you can see. The web page is disappeared. That means in this index.html file, the app root was rendered. So, what is app root? It is the selector of the app component. So, this whole component, this root component, was selected using app root and it was rendered into index.html using this pack. Simply. Now we will see the web page. Okay, now let's change some here. You can change the type. Let's give it as thread coders and see what will happen. You can see the name changed into thread codes. So it is simply as HTML code. 
we use right the difference is the body is rendered using upload component so what is upload component it, it is the component actually the root component of this project it was selected using upload so the template url can you find it app.component.html it is nothing else than this one so this is the structure of the actually this html structure of the project also the styles are defined in app component.scss here is the place for the styles so i think now you have found an idea about component now let's move into module actually what is a module angular is based on modular architecture every component is a member of and module so you can see app component this whole component is a member of this module you see i'll move it you see app component is nothing else than this one so it was a member of this module so this is the basic structure of angular it creates modules the architecture is using modules and all the components must be declared in the module which related to that component okay now let's do some different things instead of this app group just calling the app group in index.html we can call i'll come in this one and we can call it as let's take a div and let's take it as a class class let's take this name app root and now let's save it i'm sure it will not work you can see it is not working how can you make it work move into app component of ts this is rendered as a class as a css class so we need to move into app component of ts and define this one as a class so now surely it will work this move and you can see it is working instead of using as a class we can use it as an id also so if you want to use it as an id you can make another view tag here and uh, let's take what is the id app but in ts app component of ts we need to define it as an id not as an class we need to use hashtag here yeah, I'll save this one. Also, I will save this one. Uh, you can see it is working. So, I think in this video, you have got an idea about modulus and components. If you haven't got any idea about those modules and components, in next videos, I'll talk about components and modules in separate videos also while working with the project you'll get a better idea about modules and components so let's soonly meet with the new video until then take care